What's going on everyone? So in this video, we are actually starting a new module in HTB Academy. Uh, this one's called Intro to Network Traffic Analysis. Um, so in this video, we're going to be going through the introduction and we're only going to be doing the networking primer, the layers one through four. Uh, the first one in the introduction, the network traffic analysis, there were no questions to answer. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and work on the second one here. Um, and with this um, introduction, you don't have to spend up a VM environment or anything. All of the answers are going to be in this doc here. Um, and you don't have to worry about um, anything else. So it's just everything's going to be here for you. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to the questions. Um, and you'll see, again, all the answers I already provided for you, but I can explain um, how I got there. Uh, so the first question is, how many layers does the OSI model have? Um, and that is seven. And we're going to see that by this chart here. Um, so you can see the OSI model. There are seven layers. And then the next question, it says, how many layers are there in the TCP IP model? Well, if we scroll back up to that same chart, you're going to see that there's four layers. So the answer there is four. And then true or false, routers operate at layer two of the OSI model. Uh, that is false. Routers operate at the layer three. Switches and bridges operate at layer two. Um, and then I can show you that here. Um, so the OSI model, we have layer two. You can see here switches and bridges. Routers are the ones that are at layer three. So that question is going to be false. And now it says, what addressing mechanism is used at the link layer of the TCP IP model? So the answer here is MAC address. Now, if you scroll up in the docs, so you'll see that the link layer here in the TCP IP model, this is on the link layer here. And then what's involved here is switches, bridges, network cards. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see addressing mechanisms. So we know the answer has got to be down here. Um, so MAC addressing, it says each logical or physical interface attached to a host has a media access control address or MAC address. So physical interface card, right? So if we look back at this table, your physical network card, right, at the data link layer, um, the addressing mechanism used is a MAC address. And uh, you can keep going down, and it actually states specifically, uh, MAC addressing is utilized in layer two, the data link, or link layer, depending on which model you look at, communications between hosts. So there you go. So MAC address is the answer there. Um, and the next question, it says that what layer of the OSI model is a PDU encapsulated into a packet? So again, the answer is going to be in the chart above. So this is going to be like your main chart right here. Um, uh, also this one, either one. Um, but I, I use this one. Um, so pretty much most of the answers are going to be here. Um, so it said, um, let me go back to the question. Uh, so it says at what layer of the OSI model is a PDU encapsulated into a packet. So if we go back up, we will see that at level three or layer three, you can see here that's encapsulated into a packet. So the answer is three. Down again, it says what addressing mechanism utilizes a 32-bit address? So the answer is IPv4. And again, if you go back to that addressing mechanism section, uh, if I can find it, here we go. Um, so we go down to IP addressing, IPv4. Um, so it says an, IP, an IPv4 address is made up of a 32-bit four octet number represented in decimal format. So there you go, 32-bit is for IPv4 addresses. So the answer there is IPv4. And then going down, the next question, what transport layer protocol is connection oriented? Uh, so that is gonna be TCP. And again, there's also a nice little table here. So all the answers are pretty much gonna be in these tables, um, or at least most of them, which is really nice. So they were saying which one is connection oriented. And you can see right here that TCP is connection oriented. So answer there is TCP. And then what transport layer protocol is considered unreliable? Go back up to that there. Um, and you can see here, it says UDP is fast, but unreliable. 
So that's going to be the answer there. And now it says TCP's three-way handshake consists of three packets, the SYN, the SYNAC, and what? Uh, what is the final packet of the handshake? And the final packet is the AC packet. And you'll find that up here a little more. Okay, so the client sends a SYN. Um, the server responds, that puts a SYN and an AC. The third, it the client will respond with a TCP packet with an AC flag set agreeing to the negotiation. So that final question is AC. So those are all the questions for you guys. Um, wasn't too bad, just, you know, have to scroll up, you know, um, you have to keep scrolling up and down, but um, wasn't too bad. At least most of the questions were um, in some tables that kind of made it easier to identify what the answer was. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.